I wanna rock with somebody. Hey cousins, welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's the special over here, but you can simply call me Isha, okay? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about giving you maybe giving you tips or ways on how to stop procrastinating, okay? So lately I've noticed that it's not only me who has been procrastinating, but quite a lot of people have been procrastinating because at this time we think we think that we have all the time in the world and we do what we want when we want to. But the thing is but the truth is time is flying and time is going by we might tell ourselves we don't know what's going to happen next day actually if you're a student in zimbabwe you definitely don't know what's going to happen next year it's either we're going to continue from where we left or i don't know i don't even know if anything is going to take place but then we need to stop procrastinating and start moving on. So we know for my video titled Featured the Journal. So um I wrote a few tips and ways on how to stop procrastinating. And the first thing is first, get organized, invest in a planner, organize your stuff. Um when when you have a planner, when you it, it might be a calendar or whatever you plan your things and every day you wake up and you look at your planner you have your things on you just check on your planner kuti today what am i supposed to be doing and you do just that instead of just doing things randomly you just wake up you're going to be like ah i have to do this 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 you don't even you don't even have a to do list you're just doing things you're just living with the flow no you have to invest in a planner and then um the second the second tip or the second way to avoid procrastination is set simple and achievable goals. When you set simple and achievable goals, you're encouraged, you're motivated to do something than when you set goals that are unrealistic for yourself, okay? Like, if you make your goals less intimidating, they're going to be, like, more fun to accomplish and they're going to be more fun to, you know, deal with. When, um, like, for example, if I'm going to be studying... I'm not going to say, ah, today I have to study business studies, you know, because like business studies is a whole subject and I don't want to, you know, get myself into studying five topics. If I, if I feel like I have to study five topics a day, the pressure is just going to be too much and I'm just going to be like, ah, maybe Monday when I have time, I'll do this, maybe Maxen or whatever, whatever. But then if you, if you set a goal and, and be like, okay, so today I'm going to be reading marketing this chapter about marketing and stuff like that your things are going to be in order okay you're not going to be putting so much pressure on yourself and then the second the third thing sorry the third thing is create a timeline or so this is more of getting organized well sorry guys most of the things that i'm going to be talking about in this video they're like you know linking with each other so i'm really sorry i'm sorry um create a timeline or break your assignments like a study timetable sort of break your assignments um when, when at night i usually do this at night um when i go to bed i i take my journal and then i write kuti mangwana maksen i have to do this from this time to this time from this time to this time and this could also help you with your assignments you know sometimes we just don't want to write the whole assignment at once you're just going to be like okay so um on saturday i'm going to be writing the introduction and the conclusion and then on sunday i'm going to be writing the body it's going to be easier for you to you know to deal with it and it's going to be more fun to do your things okay so the fourth thing is set a deadline for yourself when you have a deadline you know you have to accomplish certain things at a specific time and period so when you set a deadline for yourself let's say if i if i say um i need to to finish um reading marketing by thursday i need to finish reading marketing when you set a deadline you're going to you know stay motivated to do whatever you're going to be doing so that by thursday you're going to be done with everything that you want to do and then the fifth thing is get rid of distractions okay distractions come in different different what different what 
I can't find the word guys, but they okay, different forms, okay? Distractions come in different forms. They might be your phone. The phone. Guys, you don't study with your phone next to you. You don't do things with your phone next to you because the moment you're going to be doing anything with your phone next to you, you're going to end up getting that phone, grabbing it from the table or whatever you, or wherever you're going to be doing your things. You're going to take that phone, you're going to scroll down and the first thing you're going to do is like, you're going to check your messages and you're going to see, ah, group like that. You're going to end up, you know, scrolling through the group and you're going to be interacting with those people or you're going to go on YouTube. You find this video or your favorite YouTuber has posted a video. You're going to be like, ah, they're going to YouTube. You're going to be scrolling through. After you watch Nyasha's video, you're going to see another exciting video. You're going to be watching that video and you're going to, guys, it's just a whole lot of stress. You're going to go on Instagram. You're going to go on Pinterest. You're going to end up wasting your time. And also, it's not all about those distractions like the phone distraction. It's also about, well, for those people with siblings, I don't have siblings. So, like, that's a win-win for me. So, if you have siblings, make sure you're going to go somewhere else where there are no siblings in a room or whatever. If they're going to be playing with their toys, if they're going to be making noise, you just tell them, guys, I need time to study. If they're little, little, you just have to deal with them, guys. Because you, you don't want your time being wasted just because you can't control your siblings, okay? So, yeah, that's the other thing. And then uh time yourself what number are we on are you serious i don't know but the next thing is time yourself you need to time it okay so there are these there are these youtubers they study youtubers like you can use them as your study by this sort of so they have um the study with me videos with music or without music i prefer studying with music because i feel calm and all everything is just um out of my way when i listen to music when i study so you guys have to go and check them out you just study you just type study with me on youtube and then you're going to find them so the study with me youtubers they actually have different study study with me times some of them go for an hour without breaking but then some of them go for like 25 minutes and then they break for five minutes and then they continue 25 minutes break for five minutes or whatever whatever and then they you know so i don't know by well according to google the atlantic part according to the atlantic at look at this according to the atlantic formula a person is supposed to study for 50 to 90 minutes okay that's like the, the average study time or study whatever you're supposed to be having if you're a normal human being so you just find what's good with you if you're going to be studying for 25 minutes and break for five minutes 25 minutes and guys when you're breaking for five minutes you don't break on your phone you look for something to do like maybe you're just going to be like sitting on your chair, refreshing, drinking water, or you're going to go to the kitchen and get it, and get yourself a cup of tea or whatever for those five minutes. I don't know if five minutes, okay, whatever. Or uh, these whatever. Hmm? Or just take a walk. Not distractions. You're not going to go on the TV. You're not going to go on the phone because once you get to do those things, guys, you're never going to feel like encouraged to go back and study, okay? So, um use incentives award yourself after anything that you do um if you're going to be like okay so if i study for like this 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 amount of time and if i study this 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 subject i'm going to to watch my favorite movie i'm going to buy myself a chocolate i'm going to do, do whatever is like pleasing to you that way you're motivated to work hard work hard this is why students at school work hard so that they can get prizes or or badges whatever you get from your school so yeah give yourself incentives or yeah just give yourself incentives okay and then oh my god this is the first this was supposed to be the first thing okay get the hard stuff done first okay when you get the hard stuff done first you're going to like remove the pressure from your way and everything is just going to be flowing at the end of the day you're going to use more time getting the the, um, the hard stuff done whereas when you start with the simple stuff when you get to the hard stuff you're going to be drained you're going to be demotivated to do anything so you better get the hard stuff done first 
and then you move on to the simple stuff and then um the final tip is it a tip or the final tip or way to stop procrastination is by telling someone you go i usually tell my mom and a close friend of mine that um guys i'm going to be doing this 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 and that so they're like my my mom actually constantly reminds me tatina did you do this tatina did you do this tatina did you do this so like having someone accountable for whatever you go Okay, having someone accountable for whatever you're going to be doing is actually going to be helpful to you because you, when they constantly remind you and sometimes you're gonna feel guilty if you don't do it like so like getting someone who's responsible or accountable for your goals or whatever is actually helpful and what do they want to say what do they want to say what do they, what do they want to say what did i want to say now what did i want to say oh yeah and they're going to help you celebrate after you know when you achieve your goal and whatever so yeah thank you very much for watching this video um why am i like this okay thank you very much for watching this video i hope you like it and i hope you share it with someone who's having trouble with procrastinating and yeah thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe ew <laughs> don't forget to subscribe Give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with somebody. Hey, hey, hey. I wanna rock with somebody. Nobody. So yeah. Bye guys. Thank you for watching.